This is Slowly. She's a 65 foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in 1986 by Stoke Boats. Steel thickness, the base plate's 12 mil. There was a survey carried out on her in April 2020. That's available for viewing in the office. She was last blacked in April 2020 and she had eight new anodes put on her at the time. She had a full service done in September 2021 and an oil change has been done since earlier this year. Huge back deck there. Cruiser stern, nine feet six inches long. There we go. <laughs> you could probably get a table to seat six out there. The paintwork's in reasonable condition. There are solar panels on the roof. They total 350 watts in in all. There are 12 of these bus style windows on the boat, so it's quite light. The Water tank. It's an integral water tank. That's in the f under that front hatch there. There is a water filter in the galley, a drinking water filter. That holds um, 1,600 litres. And the gas bottles are under this checker plate here. There's two 13 kilo gas bottles under there, along with quite a lot of storage room for bits of navigation equipment and that sort of thing. There are the two bottles. There's a changeover valve on those. And the well deck itself is four foot five inches long. Steel and wooden clad front doors. And in we go. She's fitted out in pine tongue and groove to the cabin sides and the ceiling. Oak face ply below the gunnels. Lighting on board is a mixture of LED and halogen, and the sitting room itself is 16 feet 6 inches long. It's huge. There's a lot you could do with the space. Good sized cupboard here. Got one of these either side of the boat, actually. And here. And those steps actually just pull away, and there's quite a lot of storage under the well deck there. Steps just poik out very easy. Carpeted in here, carpets in here and the bedroom, it's wood laminate in the galley and the dinette. A couple of comfy armchairs with footstools. Lots of cupboards either side. Bookshelves in there or glasses, whatever you choose really. There's a television aerial point just at the top of this cupboard. with a TV aerial booster. <clears throat> Shelves up there. If you've got some character this boat, that's a more so squirrel stove. That has a back boiler. So that does the central heating on board as well. Heats the hot water. The engine heats the hot water as well while I'm on that subject. There's two radiators on board for that heats as well. The engine also heats the radiators. There's a, <clears throat> a changeover valve. More so squirrel or engine. And the galley's next. Six foot four inches long. That's a vanette four burner gas hob oven and grill. Lots and lots of storage in here. There's the wood laminate floor I mentioned earlier. Billy's going for it on this one. Yeah, every cupboard, thank you. They obviously like their tea or coffee. Tiled worktops. Loads of preparation surface in the galley here. Loads of cupboards on this side of the boat as well. The sink is here. Stainless steel, there's the water filter tap thing on the left of the sink, and some shelves up there. The fridge is a 12 volt shoreline with an ice box in it. Leave that open so it doesn't get mouldy. And that's the galley. The next area is the dinette area. The microwave oven up there as well, you may have noticed. It's a good storage cupboard here. This dinette does turn into a spare double berth. You could seat six here for dinner quite comfortably. 
So actually, with so much room in the saloon, you could put a sofa bed on this. Numbers are your thing. You could easily see, sleep six on this boat. And that's the view down from the dinette. You can see the pipes on the wall here. That carries the hot water from the stove to the radiators. The bathroom's in here. The loo's a Thetford Porter potty. Ceramic sink over the cupboards there. It's not really a wet room because the curtain's got a shower. The shower's got a curtain, but it's a shower area, I suppose, rather than a cubicle. And into the bedroom. The bed itself is six foot five inches long, four feet wide. There's lots of storage underneath. There's a radiator in here as well. Little mirror there on the wall. And into the stern cabin. So much space on this boat. There's a wardrobe in here with shelves at the top. And on the other side is floor to ceiling shelves as well. Head height on the boat, well, I think of it is six foot four. This is quite handy. There's some coat hooks there, good place to put wet wet coats and things. There's the inverter. It's a 1600, 1800 watt sterling. There's also a NOCO Genius smart charger. The solar panel control is over, with the, um, over, over on the other side as well. Good storage this side for tools and bits and pieces. So lots of places to squirrel things away. And onto the huge cruiser stern deck. The engine's in here. It's a BMC 1800. That was reconditioned in 2015. 2000, just short of 2,300 hours on the uh, engine. And the gearbox PRM was new in 2019. 200 litre fuel tank, integral. Couple of perching seats there. And there's a view from the helm. Back through we go. There are four batteries on board, three 110 amp hour domestics and one starter battery. I mentioned the inverter. And all in all, she's a comfortable and characterful boat. There's a lot you could do with her to make her home. But she's been in the same hands, I can't remember for how long, I think about 17 years, and they've loved her. This saloon is so long. <laughs> Play a game of squash in here. Anyway, there we go. That is Slowly. Lovely boat. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.